Hi there, today I'm going to be showing the Rement set called Today's Meal or Today's Meals. I'm not sure which one it's called. As usual, I will start by showing the box. This is the outer larger box that all of the sets come in. So when you buy the entire series, you get it in a box like this. It's sealed. That tells you that it's a complete set. So there's one of each of the sets in the series inside of this box. I really love the artwork on the outsides of the boxes. I like the little displays. The boxes are awesome and I tend to keep them. Where's my... I bought this from fan21hk.com where I get a lot of my remit sets. So inside the box come all eight of the little individual boxes. This is how each individual set looks. If you buy an individual set, it's you buy it blind, so you don't know which of the sets you're getting. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. On each of the ends of the box, you get to see the sets. So set one to four is shown right here. Set five to eight is shown right here. Little display on the front information on the back and the smaller display and you just open the box by sticking your thumb in the little slot here pull it open and inside the box comes the set so this is the set with the buns I love this set ah, it happens to be set number one and then there's also a little insert inside and the insert has all of the pieces inside of it but also usually there's little cut aparts and so this is a little stamp card it looks like maybe it's a frequent shopper card and maybe this is a little I don't know what that is this looks like a placemat so sometimes I cut these out and sometimes I don't I'm not going to unbox all of these sets on camera because it just takes too long. I'm going to unbox them all and then I'll show you all of the sets. So this is set one. Here's the insert. It comes with the little buns and a little plate with bacon, not bacon, ham and eggs and a little bun and a carton of milk. The insert does come with the placemat that uh, is shown in the picture as well as a little coaster which I didn't cut out, but I did cut out the other piece. It's this little bakery frequent shoppers card and it's kind of adorable. I couldn't resist cutting this out. I'm holding it upside down, but it says stamp card. It says Hiyoko bakery stamp card. And then inside there's all these little places to have your card stamped. It looks like you get a reward at 5 and again at 10. I love the detail. This is just so sweet. I love this. And then on the back there's even a place for you to put your name. This kind of detail is what I love about Remand, even the cut aparts. So here's the little set of buns that come in this set. They have a little uh, cutting board, like a little breadboard that they come on and one of them is missing. They have these cute little faces. At first I thought that the faces were a little funny looking and I wasn't sure if I liked them, but I actually really like them. They've grown on me. They're kind of cute. The bottom of these buns really look like the bottoms of buns. Rement does a really good job with bread. Bread usually looks quite realistic. Then here's the little missing bun. You can put it right in here if you want it to look like a full set. But the one but bun comes separate so that you can put it on your cute little plate. So the plate itself is really cute. It's navy blue polka dots on a white plate. And then the food that goes on it is also pretty realistic. I like that even the underside of the eggs is kind of browned. There's the egg, it's sunny side up on two slices of ham. And then you can put your bun on this plate as well so that it looks, oh, let's get this right. It ends up looking kind of like this. There you go. 
There's also this tiny little fork to go with the plate of food. I think it says yummy. Yeah, it says yummy on it. It looks a little bit like a child's fork. And then we have this milk and the milk does come out of the cup. The cup has like citrus decorations all around it. And one thing I really like is that in this set, it, the cups kind of match one another and that's that's nice. They're not exactly the same, but I'll show you the other cup when it comes time, but it also has fruit around the top, so it looks like it might be part of a matching set. And then the milk goes in like this, and it does have a little swirly detail in the top of the milk as well. That's nice. I like the detail. Now, this milk carton does not have nearly the detail that we're used to. This milk carton looks quite fake and I think it's because it's open that it looks so fake but it's also lacking some of the detail usually we would see some wording on the like more detailed labeling here that would make it look a little bit more realistic than it is it's still quite realistic but I actually have a couple of other milk cartons here just to show you for a uh, comparison this is a remint milk carton from the Hello Kitty set and the Hello Kitty set, set was put out a couple of years ago. Uh, this is the supermarket set. And see the difference that it makes just to have that detailing right here where the expiry date would be. It just looks so much more realistic, even though it seems to be made from the same mold, with the exception that this milk carton is open. So again, I think the fact that it's open does make it look a little bit less realistic but the detailing on the packaging is lacking, which adds to it looking less realistic. And then th this is actually not a remint set. This is a piece from Orcara. And also, you know, it seems to have a similar kind of a mold, but again, the additional uh, detailing up here really does make the difference. So a little bit disappointed in the milk carton, but I do have a couple of other options for milk. The name of set one, by the way, is called Tear and Share Bread. I love that name. Here is set number two. Set number two is called Chicken, and I love so many things about this set. Uh, so first, we'll talk about uh, the insert. So there were three cut aparts on this insert. One was part of what you see here and the other two were additional things. So the main the main part of this set is this pan of fried chicken or baked chicken I guess it would be. Uh, the pan is really nicely detailed. It's basically a plastic plate that's painted to look like a metal pan baking pan and then this was one of the cut aparts and it does have like it has a kind of like a neater side and then it has a really messy side too I love that this side looks really greasy and crinkled up I love that and then you can place your chicken your fried chicken right on the little places where it looks like they would have been sitting love that and look at these little chicken legs. They're so cute. Cute little drumsticks. What I love about them is that they're not all exactly the same as the other. There are differences. It, they might be all from the same mold. I can't quite tell. It doesn't look like it though. Uh, there are differences in the painting as well on them, like the shading. This set comes with a total of five chicken legs. And so I'm going to place three of them on my baking sheet. And then the other two I'm going to place on this plate. So the set comes with this adorable little plate with flowers around the outside. It reminds me of early Corel wear from the 80s. It's really cute. And then we have a fairly realistic piece of lettuce here. 
and we can set our two little chicken legs on the plate like that. It's really cute. Then this set also comes with this little, it, this was a flattened box that I had to assemble and it has a roll of what I'm guessing is parchment paper because it has pictures of you using it for baking and whatnot on the back of it. Very realistic. I like it. You can see the little edge on the t on the piece of paper where it would kind of begin and you also the detailing on both ends of, of it as well. It could also make a nice uh, paper towel, I guess. And I like to just leave the box open so that you can see it, see what's inside. Then this set also comes with, I'm guessing these are little salt and pepper shakers. They're cute. I like that they're different than the salt and pepper shakers that I already have. What I don't like about them is that they're very obviously painted on the outside like this pepper is painted on the outside and you can actually see into the clear inside of the container. And it's just one piece of clear plastic that's molded into this shape and then the tops are painted silver with the little holes. They are quite detailed. I guess they're detailed by what we might consider today's remint standards. But again, I just want to show you because I have a couple of other salt and pepper shaker things here. This is condiments of days gone by <laughs> with remint. So this is how the quality has changed. These actually have something, this one at least, has something inside that shakes and this piece of plastic looks like it's actually separate from the main base and has been glued in place so that it looks a lot more realistic than just one hunk of plastic that's been painted. And then I'll show you another example of salt and pepper shakers from other years. Just much more detailed, much more realistic looking than these two. but still very cute. They're especially cute if you don't have the others to compare them to. <laughs> then we have a little menu and then it says cafe dining on the other side. These are just some of the cut aparts. And then this looks like little instructions for how to make the chicken. Cute. Here's set three. It's called Cutting Apples. And this one comes with lots of pieces as well. It has this fairly realistic little plastic cutting board. It comes with a little knife with a black handle and a silver blade. And it comes with this cute little partially peeled apple. There is quite a lot of detail on this apple. You can see the spot there where the the knife can look like it's actually cutting it. So that's pretty cute. And then this pie is pretty impressive too. It has this cute little pie plate and then it has a crust with apples inside of it and then it has the lattice topping and oops, I love how shiny the apples are. They look like real apples from apple pie, and I also love the crust. It's really beautifully detailed.
This set also comes with a little plate with apples on it and the kind of apples are all around the outside of the plate. And then these two little fancy cut apples that are cut into little fancy shapes. And then there's a little doll with a little doll brush. My doll has a little flaw in her paint job. She's got a little extra bit of brown paint there. I could probably fix that up. She's a cute little doll. And a little hairbrush for the doll. And then the cut aparts on this one were pretty awesome, so I definitely cut them out. I love children's artwork. And so this one was pretty awesome. There are two different versions here. One of a child maybe cooking or maybe music, playing music. No, I think they're cooking something. And then another one. It's cute. And I had to cut this one out because I'm a scrapbooker and this one, this insert included a little adorable little scrapbook. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And they actually have, I think I have this set. I do. <laughs> There's a picture of a remit set in there and I have that set. So that's kind of cool. And cutouts of some of the family members. It's really cute. It says my family 2017 to and then blank. So cute. I love that there's a scrapbook in this. <laughs> there we go. Here's set five. It's called washing. No, this is set four and it's called washing. <laughs> I used all of the cutouts from this one. So the main piece in this one is this silver drying rack dish drying rack. It's really realistic and cute and I'm so happy to have it because I have a cute little kitchen and I want to be able to set some dishes on the counter and have them look like they're drying. It comes with two plates and what I have found is that when you place this little, uh, this is a little cutlery drying container, when you place that there it helps the plates stay in their places. So you put that there and it kind of holds the plates over to the side and helps them hold their places. Otherwise the plates tend to just kind of like fall in the dish rack which is not so nice. So there you go. That's how it looks. Put that back there. It also comes with these washing accessories. So it comes with a bottle of dishwashing liquid. Very realistic. I love Rement dishwasher detergent. Love, love, love. That's so cute. And then a cute little sponge. It's not as detailed as we're often seeing in Rement sponges, but it's a little bit detailed. It has some texture on it. There we go. And then this is pretty cool. I wish my kitchen had one of these. It is a little tiny kitchen television. Complete with a little antenna on it. My antenna has a little bit of a flaw right there, but it's on the back. You, this piece comes separate and you have to insert it in the little hole. It's a very basic, not very detailed piece, but it is really cute. And part of the cut aparts included different scenes that you could put in the, in the television. So I have it on a cooking show, but there's also this like a TV shopping network type of scene. And then there's another two scenes as well, a children's show and a drama. So I'm actually going to put the other scenes in behind so they don't get lost. 
but I thought that was kind of cute. And then the other cut apart is just another flyer or magazine or something. I guess it looks like a catalog. Set five is called Rice Ball Omelette. It's not my favorite set, but I will show you what comes in it. It has this little menu thing, I guess, and a little placemat and another coaster. It looks like maybe a pamphlet that perhaps it's a TV dinner or something and it has a little pamphlet to come with it. I'm not sure. So I'll show you the best of this set first. It has this adorable little plate with cats all over it. It's quite cute. And this looks like a children's meal for sure. It has a little happy face on the little, I guess that's a ball of rice. And these little broccoli pieces are kind of adorable. So the food pieces are pretty detailed. You can see the folds, the folds of this. Um, ball of rice and the little broccolis are probably my favorite part of this whole plate. I'll put that right there. And the juice is quite cute. I like the I like the juice. As I mentioned, it looks like it might coordinate with or match the other cup that comes in this set which is nice. A lot of times the Remint sets have all totally random dishes that don't even look like they'd be from the same house. Like this has a whole bunch of different kinds of plates, but I like that the glasses go together because then if you set up a little setting, that, that way if you mix them up, it looks like, you know, you could have two glasses that look like they come from the same cupboard. The juice is separate and it has a little detail of little ice cubes in the top of it. That way you can show your cup as being empty or full. So here's the bottle of ketchup that comes with this set. It's an okay bottle of ketchup, but look at the ketchup of years gone by. It just looks a little bit more realistic. It looks more ketchup-y. It's not that much different, but those little details of just kind of making it the shape of a bottle of ketchup or the, the shape of the bottles of ketchup that we're really familiar with seeing makes a pretty big difference in how realistic something is. So this set is not my favorite for a few reasons. And get a load of this. This is from a Rilakkuma set from several years ago, but get a load of the, the realisticness of this little mustard container. That's awesome. I love that. That's from a different set and they're glued in place. They come separate, but I've just glued them for my display. And now here's probably the weirdest looking piece in this whole series. It's this Kleenex box with the Kleenex box cover. And it just looks so weird. I think Remit has always struggled with Kleenex because I, I mean, this actual tissue looks pretty decent compared to some other tissue boxes that I've seen. I have a Hello Kitty tissue box that looks weird as well. This part of it I think is pretty good and I think if they had made this like instead of instead of making it a separate piece here if they had just made this one solid piece with little decorations around the outsides of the box I think that would look really really cute. Uh, but this thing that you put over it, it says life filled with happiness is just weird looking to me. I know what they're trying to do, but it just looks weird. I don't enjoy the look of that. <laughs> so this is set six. It is called, I don't, I can't pronounce that name. Imagawayaki? I think it's a microwave. Pretty sure it's a microwave. 
It's so cute. I love it. It does come with some cut aparts that are actually really cute. It looks like a little camping pamphlet or magazine and a calendar. I adore this calendar. I'm going to cut this out for sure. And this has a schedule seal. It says these must be little stickers that you can put on your calendar. And look, they've already put a couple of stickers on the calendar. So cute. I love this cutout. So I'm definitely going to cut that out. And here is the microwave. It opens funny. It opens this way instead of this way, which is different than microwaves that I've seen. The knob on it actually does turn, which is interesting. That's quite a nice little detail. It has the time on it. Let me see if I can focus on that a little bit better. It has the time and some buttons. It even has the venting on the sides of it. And I love that it's just plain white. It's not brown and it doesn't have bears on it. It's just plain and very nice and realistic looking. This set comes with a little container of saran wrap that was a real pain to assemble. It's just so tiny and it has this cute little, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but it has a cute little roll of like just a clear piece of plastic that looks like a little roll of cellophane inside. And it's nice, like the box looks like a real box of um, saran wrap. It's called Fresh Wrap. There we go. It's cute. I'll put it there. And then this adorable little wrapper with some little pastries or treats inside. They look like little cakes, little pre-made cakes. And each of these cakes is separate. And I'll show you the detail of them. And the little tray that they come in is really cute too. It looks like a real one of those real molded plastic trays that come inside of packaging. And then it comes with this cute little plate with black and blue with little black designs on it. And it actually is the same designs as what's on this blue plate, which is nice. I like it when they match, as I've mentioned. And then here's one of those little cakes that's been cut in half so you can see the yummy looking insides. They're not quite as red as they look on the label. They look more like maybe they're chocolate inside, but I think they're berry. They're supposed to be berry inside. This is set seven, it's called gratin. And so this must be potato gratin or gratin. It's a nice looking, it's a nice looking casserole. And here we have a little placemat for serving it on and also another cute little flyer with a coloring piece on the other side. So Remint tends to do casseroles pretty well. I like the casserole dish. It looks like a real casserole dish. And then the little potato gratin here with even some little parsley or green onions or something sprinkled on top. And then the little piece that you can either have, you can either have this little piece be in place like that or you can take it out and have it look like a, a piece has already been served. It comes with two little utensils as well. This is a little spoon, very similar to the wooden spoons that we've seen in other Rement sets. Not too different at all. And then we have a little plate 
ear. It is, it kind of coordinates with the other one. It says star on it. It really does look like it would match nicely with that one because it has the same kind of like word on the top with designs around the outside. It's cute and you can put your little bit of potato right there and there's a little fork. The fork has like a wooden handle on it. And then there is a little oven mitt. Cute little oven mitt to use with your potato gratin. This is set number eight and it's called Castella and this is pound cake or what looks like pound cake to me and I adore this set. I love every single thing about this set. So I'm going to show it to you. I've used the uh, cut apart as well. The cut apart for this one is a little, I guess maybe it, it's like a little placemat on one side. But on the other side, the reason I cut it out and what I love about it is I think, I'm not sure, I, it, it has a fold mark as if it could be a little folder, but it looks like a little calendar. I thought at first it was a little chore chart, but I think it's a planner. And that's just all kinds of awesome. <laughs> love planners. So, it's so cute. I'm going to put it right there. Now this is absolutely adorable. This little uh, electric kettle. It's just so cute. I love it. I love the coloring. I love the little detail. I love the little pour spout. I love that the lid opens up. It's just so cute. I adore it. And then it has this cute little base. You set it on, it has a little hole. So cute. And then we get two little coffee cups in yellow and dark blue. And they are empty. They don't have little coffee or tea inside of them. They're adorable. And then this cute little tea bag I know that my exposure gets a little off when I go too close, but I thought I would show how cute this is. The only thing that I think would make this even better is if there was a little paper label on top of this, like a, just a little T label. Just a little tiny square sticker is all that it would take, or I guess you'd need two of them to make that look a little bit more realistic. And it hangs quite cutely in the cup. I'll show you inside of the cup. Isn't it adorable? And now this kind of cake reminds me so much of my childhood. I used to have this cake when I was a kid. So this kind of cake, it's like I'm thinking about it as if it's pound cake. I don't know if it's supposed to be pound cake, but the pound cake that my mom used to get when I was a kid used to come with this paper stuck to the bottom of it. And that's what one of the cut aparts in this set was. It was this like paper backing for the bottom part of the pound cake. And then this box, I really appreciate that it was already glued together. It was flat, but all that I had to do was pop it into its square shape and fold down the two flaps for the top and the bottom. And that was much, much better. So I didn't have to glue this edge right here, which I really appreciate, especially after having to make this, which was very difficult to make. So this pound cake looks so much like real pound cake. It's adorable with the texture 
on the sides of it and then a little slice as well. It's just really, really cute. And I thought it would look especially cute, kind of like sticking out of the box like this with a little piece like that. There we go. So this has been the Today's Meal series from Rement. I adore this collection, even though it is definitely less detailed than Rement collections from years gone by. I think they're just, there is a new standard and it is lower than it used to be. Uh, but as far as all of the recent collections go, I really love this series. I, I love it almost every single set in it. In fact, this is the only set that I don't like in the whole series. I love everything else, so I'm really, really pleased to have a set that has so many great things in it. Which is your favorite? I'm hard-pressed to choose a favorite. I think I would have to pick the pound cake part of this as my favorite, although... I also really like the apple pie. I really love the dish rack because I don't have one yet. And I also really like the microwave because I also don't have a microwave yet. So I do like a lot of the sets in this and that chicken is amazing too. <laughs> it's all amazing. I love it all. Uh, but yes, I think if I had to pick one set, it would be the pound cake set, the last set. So thanks so much for watching. Leave me a comment and let me know which is your favorite set from today's meal.